found our way It's a brand new day And we'll be making history Are you with me? Won't you stay? We have come so far This is who we are And like the rising sun We have just begun to play our part This is the time we form the chorus Lift your voice for those before us We can rely on one another Feel the pride, let's show Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, wherever you are. This is Gail of Gaia, and this is Free Range, where we graze on wild ideas. And we're having some technical difficulties, but we will try to get that fixed. In the meantime, I'm going to run a little, uh, it's called uh, How the Victory Patch Works. I'm going to run that. We are continuing to um, get things fixed. So please bear with us. And this is from, this is about the victory super patch and it's only long. So um, please watch it. Super patch and it's designed to help athletes perform their best. Studies show users see instant increases in power, strength and balance, as well as enhanced agility and stamina. Users see almost 20% more power and over 30% improvement in balance and stability. Other benefits are better HRV, reduced inflammation, and faster recovery. These are game-changing advantages that every athlete needs. All of these amazing results are from enhanced neurofunction. The Victory Patch has a special pattern of ridges that stimulates our skin to create sensations that help our brain and mind reach optimal function. Neurological optimization leads to physiological optimization and with the victory patch, that means better muscle recruitment, better recovery, more power, and better performance. It helps the very best become even better. For those striving to reach their personal best and reach the podium, the victory patch is a solution for them. It is the secret weapon for super performance. Every super patch is 100% drug and ingredient free. The super patches are FDA registered right here in the USA. Uh, from our perspective whoops. okay now let me bring the guests on let me welcome Shirlene and Erlene are you a yeah we still right now yeah you, you, you look a little washed out sorry but we have a very uh, interesting show. You guys have a, um, very interesting stories, both of you, to tell. So I'm sure many people are very interested in hearing what you have to say. Weren't you just recently on the Coast to Coast AM show? Um, actually, I first started probably 20 years ago. 20 ago. Oh, was it that long ago? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it's been a while. That's not a recent uh, airing. I'm happy. Oh, okay. I, I didn't really. I didn't. Oh, we got some feedback. That's bad. Um, let's let me see if I take the sound down a little bit. Is that any? Say something. Can you hear me? Wow, we're having so much difficulty. I don't know if we will be able to continue the show or not. Um, I'm not sure why I'm not. We're not hearing you. Your picture is frozen. And <laughs> we're just having a tough time getting this started. Maybe maybe the powers that be don't want us or that we're don't want us to show this. I don't know. But anyway, um, it appears that you should probably go... Um, go in and go out again. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is I will share some information um, like your biography, some of the information that you uh, shared with me. So let me see if I can bring that up. Um, oh, geez, I closed some things. 
This is a song that was uh, written by Shirlene and Erlene. And while they are getting together, we'll try getting back on. We'll try this. Mine eyes have seen the wonders Of the universe at large We are stringing a newness That's too grand to be ignored As we step into the marvel that are ours to be explored the truth is more more to know as a call that we must answer and it rings with truth and light it resides among the heavens in the quiet of the night as it forces us from infancy to claim a new birthright and truth is marching marching on Truths we felt so near and dear A challenge in the way As a new earth's paradigm for us Stands fast to take its place While a consciousness a man expands To redirect our fate Truth is marching, marching on. God's love for all creation. It's so mighty and so deep. And in each word or action. We can rise or take defeat Whether in this world Or worlds beyond Love is ours to keep Truth Truth is marching Marching on If tapped into Oneness that's so glorious, so glorious and grand. It requires we see beauty in each woman, child, and man. As we reach across the galaxy to take our brother's hand, true. Marching, marching on. There are words that lie beyond the scope of man's imagining, and they beckon us to join the rank of galactic family. We will take our rightful place among God's universal scheme. The truth is marching, marching on. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah.
Glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm. Glory, 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 hallelujah. The truth is my marching on. I would just like to say that is beautiful words to that song. And that was wonderful you. what you guys wrote. Thank you. It's okay now? Okay. Yeah, yes, I'm hearing you fine. Um, so far, so good. So oh, I'm trying to what I think is going on. All right, where do we start? We're off to a little bit of a rough start here, but <laughs> um, you both have had experiences with uh, um, galactic, shall we say, um, and how you were, um, how are you taken? I mean, you, uh, should we start with, who wants to go first? <laughs> you can tell your story. Please do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're still having a little difficulty, it appears, because um, you just froze again. It might be better if we actually did it without, maybe without the video. I don't know, because um, I don't. I can't hear you now. Well, hmm. Okay, I would suggest that if you are hearing me that you, um, go out and come back in again i don't know why we're having so much trouble and audience very bear with us we may have to do this show completely over again on another uh date in order to really be able to uh for you to see what's going on here <laughs> because <laughs> they've had some profound experiences and they would like to share them and i'd like to have them share them with you because i'm sure you'll find it fascinating and um I don't know why we're having so much trouble with the um, connection. Maybe they don't want them <clears throat> to get this out or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, hopefully they'll be back on here shortly or we may need to reschedule. Now from motherland to a mothership is actually a book that was written by Shirlene and Erlene about their experiences in um, abductions. And they also have shared with me a, um, some pictures of information that they've gathered to show you the type of things that, that happened to them. So, okay. I think they're coming back on now. Well, yeah. Let's try this again. Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Well, okay. Through 
really felt but you know life went on and pretty much about that things would occur my mind were He tells us life alien and a picture of the imagination of the sun. And I just think it's with the same You're the big thing. They make it into a story. I read government of the And I'm very um, that all about where production and library things on this site. And I think it really just irked me to no end. Do this app, but you can't tell them what's going on. And I hate to interrupt, Shirlene. Um, I'm I'm hearing from the audience that they can't understand the audio. It, it keeps breaking up, and it's not clear. So I don't know what to do about that. Uh, since we're having these difficulties, I'm wondering if we. we can, well, what I can do, I can do. It. Okay. The other um, computer doesn't isn't on, is it? The other computer that we that you tried to use before, the one in the bedroom. Yeah, just off of the show, anyway. I have seen countless times other shows they're picking up on and they this is not but they don't want us yeah that happens yes yeah, I'm not on any sensitive subject that they really don't care. It, it, yeah, you get interference, you get, yeah. 
Peter, what else did you say? Oh, so that's not, that doesn't have anything to do with it. They're just interfering with us is what's going on. <laughs> the only other thing that I can suggest that we could do is we could take the audio, I mean, take, take the video off and then just have the audio. And sometimes that makes the audio sound better, but I wouldn't know for sure because I did say, your audio isn't clear. Now it appears that you're frozen again. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Um, hmm. I think we might have to uh, reschedule this show. Um, Re reconnecting. Okay, we can okay. Oh, oh. Is reconnecting. Seems to be reconnect it now yes it is you actually have four green bars well we can you hear me can't see them we can't yes, yes we can can't see them. now you can't hear me huh oh my gosh yes we can, we can, we can, hear, we can you. hear you we don't, don't see any green bars we can oh hear. oh okay i i see that yeah we, we should have good connection and reception right now so if we don't it's because they are intentionally interfering with us right right that's what we believe yeah are you ready for me to start again yeah keep going yeah okay pick up where you left so off okay okay so i moved to dallas texas in 1994 and i started my experiences in 1995. um i moved because it was time my children were grown. I lived in Kansas, a suburb of Kansas City called Overland Park. And my husband and I, our marriage was just failing. And I didn't want to work on it. I think it had lost its usefulness. For me. And I think I had another mission. I know I had another mission to do, but I didn't know us. Um, I finished college with one of my goals. And I remember writing species that I want to do something to help improve the world. But I didn't know what it was be. But anyway, after moving to Kansas City, reconnecting with her, we, it's fun. We went shopping. We did things. We uh, went to um, bars or dancing or shopping, you name it. We, we didn't go to bars. Not okay, clubs. take the bars off. One club, <laughs> one club we did go to. Yeah, we'll dance the night. Like I say, party, party. But anyway, so I was just having a good time with my new fam and exploring life and dating. And I was just having a wonderful life. And I read, uh, I got on a spiritual path whereby I read books that, such as Conversations with God, book one, two, three, and oh, several other, other he created, um, that new created, I uh, wrote with God. And I read Seed of the Soul. I was on a spiritual path. All these books were very illuminating. And I feel like they, consciousness, they really opened my consciousness, say. And I, uh, to something I never would have considered ha actually happening. But um, one night I was on the phone with a girlfriend from our hometown of Kansas. And she was, a, uh, she was engaged, but he was with her and she called me. She was almost in tears. She was so upset. And I just feeling so based on my new uh, freedom, vibration, my new consciousness, expansion, all of that. I felt just high, you might say, high on life. But, and I talked to her about their audio me. Uh, he's not the only thing to see. Uh, I talked to her. Uh, she, there's, if she just wait and trust, find someone new, and it, it's best to let it go before she get, then to get married and then have, have to go through a divorce, which was what I was going through. So she felt better, and so she and I, um, she asked me if I want to go to church with her. At the time we were, we were in the Christian, and we went to the same church in our, in our hometown. Uh, but now that I was in Dallas and she was had moved to Dallas, uh, she asked me whether I declined because I was a little, a little tired. I really wanted to go to bed and relax and go watch some silly to watch old fashioned uh, one of the old sitcoms from the past that make you laugh. I wanted to turn on something like silly, like I love Lucy and Lee. That was the plan. Never in the middle of the night, I would be visited by extraterrestrials and taken out of my bed, out of building, and through the roof. Over over the trees, over the swimming pool, floating out and into a UFO. Exactly what 
the curve. When the entity you s like like the picture that we had here is actually kind of what happened. Like you're yes. able to see all this as you're going up. I, amazing. Oh gosh, I saw I wow. saw so much. It was truly amazing. Um, the the in, the entity I could always tell when they were in my room. The energy of the room would change. But this time I was asleep when it occurred. Other times I've been wide awake. I'm almost asleep, and I felt. I woke up on the UFO and I was in shock because it was just, I was traversing the galaxy, I was inside the UFO, it, it had a window that went around the whole the whole vehicle and I could see stars and a asteroids and all kinds of activity going on in the universe. It, the UFO with other vehicles, triangular shaped vehicles would come by our UFO and just speed off and they never hit us. I couldn't understand how we could come the other you the going our direction could hit would it should have almost, almost hit us but it never did it was like it, it had an uh, uh, intention of its own and uh, uh, mm -hmm. intelligence of its own, intelligence of its own it never hit our vehicle and that's one thing that was a little bit unnerving because it would come because um, like if you're riding in the car and they're going really at high speeds you know somebody's going to crash it's going to crash against the other car but that one wasn't true with these vehicles. Then it was independent of us. But the universe was what's amazing to see this beautiful black universe, all these stars and all the vehicles. I called the, that chapter of our, uh, the universe is alive. Because it was just in this sector, at least of the universe, everything was just moving and going and flying by. And you name it, teeming with, teeming life. with life. That's what I, so I well, it's interesting. Is, uh, I just, I, I just listened to something recently that says that our universe is alive, just like oh God, um, Gaia is alive. So the that, you know our so Earth is true. alive. It is yeah. So Perhaps true. if you I I, I, turn turn your um, audio on the computer down just a little bit, and I'll turn it up over here well, on we, restream we, because I we're, we, unless we can't, we can't get to the audio because to it at this point we might end up losing you. Altogether. Oh, okay. We, won't, we don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, our audio isn't really working that we can turn get to it. Um, it's yeah. not on this page we're on. Right. And on we, this live. No, okay. And we may lose oh, okay. it. But we can, we're, that'll help. In our bar, okay, our I, don't, I don't know what it is. I. But it's. Uh, it's doing what? It's easy to have in, interference, it seems. Go go ahead, continue with your story. I'm. I'm okay. Well, when we'll I. We'll have to just deal with this. Okay, so when um when I return, was returned to my bed, it was about three fifteen um, in the morning, and the, the first thing I thought was, okay, I'm, I, something's wrong inside. Felt like there was something wrong inside. A tingling that was occurring in my body that I didn't recognize. Uh, the room shifted in the energy. It was in the room. I felt cold. I felt like I was recollecting into to a physical the molecular. I think they put me in. So that I could travel through buildings, and I felt like when I returned, I was being recombined into the the physical body. Wow! It's weird, wow. but we are kind of are, we learn in school that we're molecular, and so atoms and molecules. And then he was experiencing that because I know, no, actually no, equally if you weren't broken down into to ask your astral form. So um, and then so I when. I, I won't completely uh, return. Automatically, you wake up when you return. I thought was something. Did somebody drug me? Did someone break in and put drugs? And I couldn't figure out what had happened. And then I thought, well, I, I stood up and I, I felt almost created, but I hadn't been drinking. I just couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. And I thought, well, it's time to go to a doctor and a hospital. Then I realized, and I can't do that because they'll think I'm crazy, psycho, well, crazy. You know, crazy cycle ward so i was not an option and so so i i i said well maybe i can call the police but they would do the same they you know, probably think i'm drugged or been drinking or drugging and <laughs> god please you can't yeah. trust the police so i thought of calling my sir who, who knew everything about who knew so much more about, about this subject because of her research and her interest in that you know, her knowledge that she had acquired over the many years that she abductions other people abductions but then i knew i couldn't 
call her because it's 3 a.m. in the, 3 a.m. in the morning and she might get mad waking her up. She could Gail, this is something out of the norm. <laughs> yeah, I like this. <laughs> this is something way bigger than just getting your sleep. But I didn't feel that way because she told me that. Oh, wake her up. I didn't know there was an exception. But anyway, I, I, I decided not to wake her up. So I told, I laid back down, calmed myself down from what had just occurred. Believe it, hardly believe in it, but I know it happened. And then I said out loud, I do not wish to go to again tonight. And I knew they were still around me. The, the, the uh, extraterrestrials were still close or near. And I knew they heard my request, so I wish to return tonight. And I did. But peacefully, the rest of that night, first thing in the morning, though, I was on the phone with it's my so sister, loud. and she's like shocked. Yeah, <laughs> that's understatement. <laughs> Who wouldn't be? <laughs> she said, get over here, get over here right away. I, oh, we, okay. She said, get over here, get over here right away. I want to hear every single detail. And I thought, well, I'm, I'm not kind of nervous about your husband's name, Freddie. He's so sweet, though. But I didn't know him that well. I had just, like, know him at that level. Because I uh, come to Dallas much longer before. And I, I thought he might think I'm crazy or make fun of me. Ernie assured me he would understand. He introduced him to the whole subject and the knowledge of, of this phenomenon. And he would not make a joke. And he, he would be really nice about it. And he was. So I went over to her house. We, I went into her kitchen. And they were, it was so nice to be home in a warm place, breakfast and bacon, sausage or whatever, and cooking and, and coffee brewing. And I just felt, oh, this is, this is, it's so much nicer than me, nothing that you're all oh, because it was the unknown. So um, I began to, she asked me to make a drawing. And so she ran to get some paper. I made a drawing of the ship and the things I thought, saw, tried to make a, of the UFOs I saw in the sky and just different things that were up. And um, I'm not much of an artist, but I, I did my best. And um, it's just that my call it the first night trip is what I call it in the book. And it, it proceeded from there. I started having about two to three uh, abductions. You might, I don't like the word abductions, but the co common word for it right now. But uh, yeah. two or three. Did had, they do anything to you when you were on the ship? Multiple times and multiple things. But not this, but first. Not this first trip. Because I had three okay. years worth of these experiences two to three times a week. And it went to that first. Experience. Right. It started at the, after the first one I just explained. It started after, very much after that. And so I have three years worth of experience. As we discussed in early has two, um, the, um, they're in our book. And so, and I'll be sharing any one of them with you. Which one would you like to hear about? Uh, well, oh, whichever one, um, what was the most impactful on you? How about that? <laughs> anyway, while I have a chance, so some say the abduction is for DNA extraction, especially by grays, and sometimes to astrally impregnate the abducted. I had that happen. Okay. I'll, I'll just have experience. Um, I was constantly, when I went, normally I, I would have examinations. I didn't know what they were examining or why, but I would pretty much have examinations for the ship. Um, some ship, one of the experiences was on Mars. Uh, others have been on other places, you might say. Others. And sometimes I didn't know where I was. And they were it, and sometimes I forgot and didn't even ask. Because sometimes it's like, I'm here, I'm suddenly, and I, I feel almost, it's kind of hard to explain, but I feel like it's almost kind of normal for some reason. I don't know why. I wouldn't ask, where are we did they, all the time? Did did they tell you when you were on Mars that you were on Mars? Or did you I ask? About Mars. Uh, they didn't tell me because I had, they were, some of them were so short, whereby they're there for a little bit of time. They're doing the examination and then I'm, I'm gone. But some were longer with, wow. with the examinations. So on one occasion, well, I'll talk about the pregnancy, um, I was taken and uh, on a table on Mars, and the entity 
phone message. Told me I was Mars, but um, I didn't think of asking a whole lot of questions. Why did start a conversation? Like sometimes when you go into the doctor's office, you have something in common, may have something in common with the doctor, and you may want to just share some, just talk, chit chat yeah. type of thing. So I did this with this Mars. He was a white cocktail with a white lab coat, and he. I decided, well, I had to think, I wanted to talk to chat, so we, I said, did you, uh, did you know that we had, uh, we had a, a, that traveled all the way from Mars to Earth, and that they, we, that our scientists found microorganisms, microscope. the rock, which, which indicated that we, it traveled from all the way from Mars to our planet, and it landed here, and he said, and I'm going to quote, we are well aware of your findings. End quote. Okay. So we are aware of your what? I'm sorry, I didn't hear we, we are well, I'm quoting, we are well aware of oh, your findings. So I didn't know where to go with that. He, he changed the subject. He, he took me to a map before we even, uh, G, what do you call it? GPS, or Mass, Mass Quest, or anything like that. He showed me a, a luminous electronic or digitized map and show me mountains and ranges on the planet Mars. And he told me one of these mountain ranges was called Mu. And I can't remember that because I, I was just, it was just, it, oh, it's not easy to remember these experiences when you come back, but I couldn't remember the range. But people, li in other words, people lived in these areas, in these ranges. And, uh, it, and then the, the items that, the, that he showed if you can imagine an X-ray machine, that's what it looked like. By you can see the skeletal of a person and see inside the body. That's what it was, except it was just it was landscape. just landscaping of Mars and the mountain ranges, and where individuals lived. He had names on these individual places. Then a lady came out of the back room. She was um, she was African American. She probably was not from Africa, but she was black. And she white lab coat, and she opened my conversation with the first man, and she reiterated. Actually, he told me, "I'm sorry, I'm skipping." He told Mars is predominantly black, and that's that's a statement I didn't understand. So she came out and overheard the conversation, and Mars is predominantly. Black. I didn't know what the heck that meant, and I when I came back, I said, first person I call is Mr. And she, because she's all got this knowledge and research about Mars, and she compared it to the pyramids of... Actually, I didn't compare it. But uh, Richard had a book called Monuments of Mars, an, an excellent expose on the correlations between the pyramids of Mars to that of Giza, Egypt. And he found that they, they had so many mathematical equivalents, like they were the universal pi, uh, they had the same longitude and latitude, and it was amazing, uh, his findings. So, of course, I had no problem believing my sister had been taken to Mars. A lot of people were asking, you know, what did you think of that? Or, you know, so, what I took book, Gail, is just bring the research that I had found as it relates to Africa, Egypt, Mars, and bring a, cor a correlation. Uh, for instance, uh, the capital of Eo, and in Arabic, Cairo means El Qara. El Qara means Mars. And so he had wow. he had brought all of this wow. research to bear to show a link between Mars and the, uh, the pyramids of Mars and those of Egypt, of, of the Giza Plateau of Egypt. So I would like to go back to those. Um, I have, I, I can say this. Okay. okay. If, if you can understand what I'm saying, it, this seems to be an interference, but I have interviewed a super soldier named Penny Bradley, and she was Where on Mars. Her? <clears throat> yeah, and she had showed me some pictures, and the people were uh, dark skinned. Interesting. There. Very wow. interesting. And and she also talked about big spiders there. <laughs> <laughs> really nasty, okay. but maybe you didn't have any encounters like no, that. No, I didn't. She really didn't go outside. No, that's but good. Actually, oh yeah, outside. so you I were... did go outside on other occasions. I saw mm -hmm. outside. Um, so I would like to share how my favorite child came about. 
Uh, one night I was in my bed and uh, I was a second feeling the energy of the extraterrestrials and I was awakened by them. And two uh, grays and no, I'm sorry, two grays that turned themselves into Indian looking people with the beautiful, colorful clothing loaded through my, 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 uh, my wall that was in front of my bed. Natasha, an eight year old black young beautiful woman who they presented a girl, a girl, not a woman, girl, I start girl. And I was just amazed that three of them were, were right in front of my bed. And I was shocked and they, they didn't tell me she was my child. I felt it. And that's why they're introducing her to me. She had hair about down here and she was, uh, she had teeth, her, her, what do you call these, the pointed teeth you have in the front? Hers Inside were gold. Those, yeah. just gold. Yeah. Yes, I, I think that's it. But hers were gold, they were pointed. And uh, more so pointed than ours. And it was an antique, her teeth, those two teeth, too, were antique gold. And she was just, she was, and she was kind of nervous, uh, as I guess an eight-year-old child would be coming through somebody's bedroom wall and being in Reduced to a human being, she was very shy, and I and they, the extraterrestrials had me in mind, so I couldn't reach out. Then I so I asked them. I said, "Can I touch her?" And then they they the paralysis. paralysis, and I reached across the and touched her, and her so, cold. It was it wasn't like warm blooded, like we are human beings are warm blooded. Her her body at least was cold, and then after that. The, th the two two entities that were Indian looking to an Indian looking human, but they weren't human. Uh, and then they them floated up in the air out of my up, up from my ceiling, and I was just you wow. know just like God, <laughs> you know how do you that was the hard thing integrating my into my work life. Thank God I had a twin sister who had read all all this stuff. Had read about abductions and maybe I don't know about hybrid children and uh, the plant. There's a plan. I think this is all through the SSP, the Secret Space Program, that they're using people this. And they are taking our DNA. They're taking our DNA. Creating hybrids. And creating exactly. So yeah. I, I learned that yeah. later. Yeah. Things I had to learn along the way. This was a comment made by. Are you familiar with Ishmael Perez? Apparently yes. He, yes. Yeah, he interviewed somebody who had birthed five children, and I she was the that. mother of yes. five yes. due to the yes. abduction. That's, yes, I just watched that on his on one of his. I think he was in Denver uh, doing a. Oh, really? I, I haven't that. seen it, but that's interesting. Okay, it's yeah, it's watch the it. James yes. Rink show. No, it's his own show. Oh, Ism okay. Ismail Perez talked to a lady who had five hybrid children, and it's fascinating. But I now, did she have her like children? That. Did she have her children with her? Like you didn't, you didn't. Even though you had a hybrid child, they were in control, and they they had the child. Correct. Correct. I've never seen her. Oh. I want to see her again, but I don't know if she's still even alive. I understand the well. It's all about the the DNA, the genetics. On what your other experience, whereby I, I can't remember. I think maybe. Mars, the Jupiter, but um, they told me, and I quote, we are re-engineering your structure. They told me that, end quote. We are re-engineering your genetic. Well, I came back from that experience, I called them, and then we just didn't know what to think of that. I think what wow, I yeah, I don't know what to think of that either. <laughs> I, we wrote in the book, there, could they be our gods? If they our could read our creators, if they've got the ability to re-engineer our genetic structure, could they, in fact, create our creators? And that goes against what the Bible teaches. At least we're, we're taught that God creates us. But that's mm -hmm. what they told me. We are. And then the, the, uh, I put this out, but I've got to be honest about how I feel. Later on, what, 20 years later, uh, the COVID-19 came along, whereby some people, Careful to yeah. talk about that. They they'll take oh, the. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. Okay. That came along, and so it made, made me think about that. Think back. We are re-engineering re your genetics.
because there is some correlation some yeah. people do yeah. about that. Um, so anyway, I'll change, but um, that was that was an interesting experience. That's concerning. <laughs> yes, that they could do that. Well, if they yes. did it, I did it through human beings. They don't necessarily beings. have to be our creators, though, but they are right. capable right. of manipulating our yeah. genetics and mutating exactly. it and, and that kind of thing. Right. So, exactly. Yeah. So anyway, um, I I just, you know, wondered that I had to go to the hospital because I was hurting, like the lady, um, Perez. I, I don't know. I'd love to talk to her, but I was having problems after, during, before and during, I would have pain and so forth. And I had to go to a doctor, a gynecologist, a female gynecologist. Just here on this planet, <laughs> I had a relationship to where that happened, and she me and <laughs> I know determined that I had scar tissue in my pel pelvis, in my uterus, and she asked me, "Have you had any births, children, abortions, anything like that lately?" And it's been twenty. I had my two. Oh, I think I did hear this story on on Isma too. I had had my maybe not this part, but I had had my tubes tied. And I think she said she took the pill or something, so she couldn't get pregnant. I had had my tooth early, at least 20 years prior to that experience. So I didn't want any more children. So I told them, I told them, I can't have a baby. And uh, they're working on me and everybody's working really fast and working around me. And I got my legs up. It's like women do have to do when they go to a giant class. The same thing on Mars. And I had my legs up and they were examining me and I'm like, children? And everything stopped around me. I'm your Pin drop. They all stopped, shocked that I said that, looked at me and said, uh, why not? I said, because I've had my two. They said, oh, that's nothing. That's no, that's no big deal. And they can start working again. <laughs> being around me. You know, it sounds so crazy, but it, you know, everything I'm saying is, is absolute truth to working back on me and, and just basically ignored me. Otherwise, they're doing their work. They're very focused. They're goal oriented. They don't have much time. They can't keep us off the planet too long, and they can't get to got real fast. Actually, I was wow. off the planet too long one time, and I couldn't get back into my body. And now that's a little, a little bit disconcerting. So uh, it was time wow. for me to return. Wow. I couldn't get back in. So I, like Superman, I went to my body, my astral body, I tried to jet into my human body, my physical body, back in the bed. I couldn't get back, back in. And so I, I scooted back like you put, and I made a run for it again. Try to get in the body and I was stopped. I couldn't get in. That's the second time. And, oh God, please allow me to get back into my body because I have more work to do around this. And with that prayer, I get it right back into my body. Wow. You, know, you can't have fear. You cannot have fear because fear will take over you. And how do yes. you deal with this? How do you deal with being up in a UFO and anywhere and done it? anything to happen to you? But I always had faith in God. We grew up in a Christian religion. And I always learned faith, have faith in trust in God to protect you. With my spiritual studies that later came, I integrated that to every fiber of my being. I cannot fear. God will protect us. Knowing I was okay. I would get, get back. Isn't that I beautiful? <laughs> Yes, it is. So, so um, what else would you like to hear? There's so much, and I don't know what your time frame is. Something uh, someone put up, they are professional geneticists, and they did not create humans. They simply are, are custodians because they eat our children, sorry to say. Um, that is the reptilian. Um, right. Oh, great. Now, the reptilian, what I think is the reptilian, anyway. What, what were these experiences that you just spoke of? Were they with gray or human um, looking? The, yes, the one involving the Tasha, the hybrid child was. Okay. That's who brought her in to my bedroom and then took her back up and out. Were the grays, but they looked human. Correct. So they yes, could they can, they have change. Take shifties whereby they could change. And they, they are, they can change, they change sometimes into a nurse's outfit and a nurse's white outfit from the, I think they're back from the 70s, like those little hats for nurses. But they, they didn't work in our time frame. Uh, they worked in another time frame 
hospital that they had me in looked like a, a hospital from this. It was all old fashioned compared to what it looked like today. So I felt like I was also possibly transferred into a time frame. But um, I was, it was just one of these old hospitals. One time I was in one of these old hospitals and I, you know, I'm physical. When I go, they t they break me down. Then if they need to examine me, they tend to send me back into the astral uh, components. So I, and then if they need to touch me, like exams do, you have to touch you, I'm back in the physical. They can do that. I, didn't, wow. I, don't know, I could not do that, but they would transfer me way back and forth. So one time I was on the table and I was, I was really kind of curious what the rest of the hospital looked like. So I loaded out of my body, went low flying around, you might say, the hospital. And they said to another man's room, and he had this old fashioned crane holding his leg up like he'd have injury. And um, I kept it with that behind in technology, but that's the way what I saw. And then he was met, the doctor, by I was laying on the table, said to me, Get back here. And I immediately floated back into the bed, back into the body. So he didn't want to examine me without me being in my belief. Put in back in my body, his voice, and I floated away back to my body. Wow. Somebody says here too, um, Lee, I think I've been repeatedly raped as they sleep by unseen demons. I know it sounds impossible, have, but it's really I've not. Had, I've had that experience, yes. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't okay. doubt that at all. And I've had that experience where they, uh, I don't want to go to so the Angela detail, is. <laughs> Wow. Angela is saying, this is a critical piece of the truth puzzle. Um, thank you for the interview. I thank you, Shirlene. They are both brave women sharing their knowledge and experiences. You are, um, because like you oh. said, this isn't, they don't want this out for some reason. Right. I don't know why um, they shouldn't be. Well, I guess it relates back to when the government made a deal with the uh, certain yes. ETs that they would be allowed to abduct so many humans if, and they would get the technology, which they in turn did not share with the people. They kept all the technology to themselves. Right, exactly. Um, There's over 6,000 uh, technologies that has been suppressed. But it's getting ready to be revealed. I know, I remember uh, former President Trump, I feel he's still our president, but he, he wanted too. to release those, those technologies. Uh, I don't know what happened. He didn't, but I believe once he returns. Uh, I think he goes. Yes, yeah, and hopefully he returns yes. soon. Yes. We want to. As an embarrassment for the entire country. <laughs> All right. And yes, we have heard as knowledge of all of this, he and all these space force, I heard, I read, he's over space force. I've written him a few times, but he's been to answer it, answer me. But um, we're trying to promote our, our, would like to share about our movie. Um, oh, I think 24. Soon to be made movie. Soon to be yeah. made movie. But I talk in the, like it's present. present. Yes, you, you, yes, you guys want a script, right? Yes. Um, in 2014, I was home. I was off of work that day, and I got a. Um, I just got this feeling to write. A, I was watching something. I just got this feeling to. Write, we need to write it, and so, so I. I didn't think we could do it, but they, they asked us to. I don't know so much ask as suggested. You might say, to write this script about experiences. So I thought they must their mind because we have never written a script. We don't know how to write a script, but they were very confident yeah. that we could do this. And so we've gone through oh, nine years of script. We have had numerous script doctors and just review it for us. I got, we got a grade of 4% from one script doctor. Got uh, 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 many that said, interesting. it's mar marketable, it's fast because it's, it's twins, it's, it's female, and their stories all over original those are the kind of comments we got back from some of our most of our script writers um and then of course they made the list. yeah it was a beautiful all these beautiful uh comments um so we wrote it we got it done like <laughs> after nine years put a lot of money into it over the years ten ten thousand yes over the over the years wrote it and we're trying to get it to this 
resonates with this kind of story so that we can bring this out in an extraterrestrial positive world in the SSA, the liberation of planet Earth. And I thought, liberation, what's that got to do with anything? We need, we talked about liberation when we were trying to get free from, from slavery. We wanted our liberation. We wanted our freedom. And now we're all that. Vet, now we're all that slaves. Slavery. Right. <laughs> I understood a little later when, when they told me to name it Liberation Planet Earth. I didn't understand it, but later I put the we put the puzzle together, understanding now that we all, as a planet and as a whole needed liberation from the from the cabal, cabal and deep state, deep state and all of that. Those entities. But I never even considered that when they said the liberation of planet Earth. So I went ahead and trusted them with that title. And, mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 and so, so everything that has happened after, and our, our story actually details uh, two, uh, two ends go on a journey of going down the rabbit hole, find out what's going on and learn what's really going on and on our planet. So uh, kind of like a, a conspiracy, um, and sci-fi uh, movie, that has elements of true a true story, but yet some elements are fictional fiction. because our our analysts and our script need some fiction in there. Uh, so we added some fiction and need some drama, drama and conflict and all of that to make people hopeful and watch it. And those things are still yet true. We have drama, we have conflict. <laughs> it's funny dealing with this kind of system. All of that now fits into the movie. Yeah. Well, we're not free if somebody can come and abduct you at any time exactly. without your ability to do anything about exactly. it and, and just have to deal with it. You um, know what, Gail? Yeah. And, and that, that may indeed be one of the reasons that our government has not disclosed the subject of you and their uh, occupants. They don't know how to tell the American, we can't control this. We're totally. Uh, just as as incapable of doing anything about it, citizens are, and the fear will stop paying our taxes. So you keep it all under the lid. You act like you're still in control. That yeah, is one of the th things we've come up with as far as a theory as to why they have not uh, shared this information with the right. public. They don't want to lose control and uh, are paying our tax dollars. But they now know that they are because too many of us are having the experience since we're getting on shows like this. It. We're looking. We're seeing UFOs in the sky every, uh, almost every day. Um, we had uh, what's his name, Gruff, uh, uh, Graf. What's the remember. recent guy that came on citizens hearings? I uh, did a citizens hearing for Congress, and he's telling oh. his stories. Oh, oh. oh. Rear, maybe something like that. He's telling yeah. Congress about the, these UFO sightings and some fact that some bodies, air pilots, air pilots. Air came on that hearing military so so yeah. it's getting out can't deny it because of the where it's coming from the, how the credibility of the people there everything is, is happening yeah. we're, we're moving into a truth frequency on all levels because yeah. we have yeah. corruption on all levels and um, it's all coming out it all will be disclosed right. this is even said right. in the Bible uh, nothing will right. be um, oh, it'll be upturned. Uh, right. And you know, something else came from the Bible that really, that I really try to, I tried to pattern the movie off of this by first that there will be powers. We rest powers and principalities, powers of, principalities of power. Of power. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's the one. So that's kind of. And my, my people suffer for lack of knowledge. Right. All of that fits. Early had an interesting yeah. Experience along the same line is where you control the many. Would you share that? Which one? If you control. The oh many. well, let me preface it first. I my experience is more dreamlike. I don't it was a physical place I was taken to, but uh, so to, with that said, the dream showed that I was taken to what looked like a galactic meeting, some uh, intergalactic meeting. I was there and other people from other planets, maybe even more from planet Earth. I really don't know. I, they didn't allow me to see the meeting, but all I remember is leaving the meeting and coming back to Earth 
the meetings, you know, everyone goes to their respective planets. And uh, an escalator in the sky, not escalator. Oh, it was really more like a conveyor belt that moved like at an airport. And so I'm on this conveyor belt in the universe going back to planet Earth. And there's another group of people that are going back to their, and they're black. So uh, naturally I want to greet them and, sit and introduce myself and find out where they're from. So it's yeah. because all of this thought. And so their way like this, I'm coming the other way on my conveyor belt, opposite direction on their conveyor belt. Their belt stop at the same place. So we're, you know, in a, we're in perfect alignment with each other to greet each other. So I uh, introduce myself, introduce themselves, and I tell them, uh, they tell me what, what planet, which I can't remember. But then uh, I tell them that I'm from, which of course is Earth. And I, I was just taken at their response to when I told them I was from planet at Earth, uh, because the woman who was the spokesperson, this is a small group, and she said, oh, yes, the planet where the field control the many. I said, oh, my God, this is how we are perceived from us. You know, they, they, have, they have the ability to study us, our ability to really study them. And it was just sh shocking that this was certain of us, uh, that uh, very few control the many it's true of course, but and that that's exactly <laughs> true but but is it is it a fair type of tell you that, control that it really, yeah. yeah it was that was really um quite um, Okay, um, I, I'll have to, um, you, maybe we could address this a little bit. Lee says, I'm sorry to offend you Bible bangers. I don't, I'm, I'm far from a Bible banger, um, but the Bible is scripted by Satan. The entire realm is owned by demons. Um, there are still our truths. There are still our truths in the Bible. Um, I agree. I, I think they're awesome. But we, we know so that we're not a lies and there's the twisted. And uh, misdirections and things like that as well, right. but it's not totally right. off. Or it. Um, anyway, I, yeah, I appreciate some, there's saying that. There's some very good scriptures to live by, like love yeah. your enemy. And there's a lot love of each the other philosophy and your, of how to, how to live. That's what we got from going to church. We don't go to church now. We mourn to spirituality, but uh, our new children, the great things in there that teach us how to live, but we're all, you know, love your fellow brethren. And, and so. But at the same time, we do realize and look at the, the religion, all religions are a tool of control. And uh, exactly. so this is we, we don't put ourselves in kind of a little a pigeonhole anymore. We prefer to study uh, different philosophies and, and, and come to our own uh, connection with cre prime creator be told from a pulpit you got to do this 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 and this and you don't help that's yeah. not our truth anymore. that yeah that that's fear control fear, exactly in control correct i'd like to talk about my clone if, uh, if you haven't read it i share i would share that a lot of people want to hear about the clone experience i can share a couple of things about if you Right. Yeah, There's we, we can. We can go for another half hour or we can even do another show and maybe we can fix the audio so it's better better heard. That's a um, that's a possibility. So by, we might even if we repeat okay. ourselves, it doesn't hurt because you know, if we do it again, it won't hurt. Okay. I mean people need well, we to can hear, always hear share new things. things too. Yeah, we got There's yeah. more than yeah. to do So one time Yeah, I think we should take that. But go ahead, tell us about what you observed the with the cloning. Okay, well, the really weird, okay, there's two experiences. I would like to, first one would be my own clone, taken by an entity. I couldn't see them, they're, you know, cloaked, but she, I had a feeling it was a female, and she was on the left side and went to a, another dimension where this cloning process, I assume, occurs. Now, I didn't see uh, any. Thing like that, but when we got to this place, see, see a tube. I was able like into, into yeah, under, I was able to see that into that building or that structure. I don't think it's a physical building, but it is a structure. And 
was hanging kind of curved like down, like a fetus in the stomach being being uh, carried by a mother. It was upside down, and it was I looked really close. So that was me, and I knew it wasn't my sister because it looked more like me than my twin. So I I looked at it in a head I used to wear, which was up at that time. It was, oh no, this is probably 15 years ago. His hair up, and it wore gown, a nightgown, those little, what they call little, little, little teddies that women wear, um, and had that on. And the nightgown, with me even being curved upside down, this gown wouldn't, if there's no gravity in this tube, in other words. And so it just kind of floated there. And this tube up, turned upside down, curved, like a baby in a womb. And I looked at it, and I had no reaction to it because I knew it wasn't me. I wasn't fearful of it. Yeah, again, I tried to drop fear from anything I'm experiencing. Um, but I would be right about it because um, Erling, <laughs> I, I, at once we had a psychic uh, give us a reading that she said that Erling had 14 clones and I had 12. Well, I've never seen all hers, but <laughs> at home. And so, okay, so my next cloning experience was where they were, was taken to Ju uh, it was Jupiter or not. They don't call it, they did, didn't call it Jupiter, they call it Jupiter. I was taken to a park setting. Uh, there was mm -hmm. a tree that's really just as much like much like Earth, and there are two men that were sitting on the bench. There were young men, and I looked at them, and they like one was a clone, and one was the human because the clone didn't have any energy in it. It just it was void of it. A human has, but they were friends. They get along, they talk, talk. They were like friends, really much like twins, but one didn't have a soul. That's what I felt. So uh, I watched wow. them interact with each other. You wouldn't have known you were one with a clone. They're so they very much identical. Um, and so I had another more experience where I went to. They said, um, "We do not. Oh, what's the word? We do not clone our, our leaders. leaders." So they tell me that they their leaders are very very important, and they can't will not clone the. Leaders because the leaders number one are more this is what I was getting through my mind after I turned and there and I'm waiting what was that all about I got that they do not clone their leaders because their leaders are very highly spiritual they're leaders that plan it to evolve unlike like our leaders unlike this leaders on this planet who was probably dead or something it's very spiritual and they want them, their people and their planet to both evolve, all evolve. So therefore, they would never clone their leaders. That's the state that they gave me. We never clone our leaders. Well, wow. and, and cloning, I don't know. Oh, I, I, I think it's being shut down by the, the white hats. Yes. What, we, yes, what right. I read anyway. Because we um, leaders to con but, control them. To control them. Exactly. Control us, right? <laughs> exactly. It just, you know, yeah. Talk about trickle down effect. Yeah, we're we're, we're uh, uh, controlled as a result of it. But now Lee wants to bring up the point. Lies the problem. If you keep giving evil, if you keep forgiving evil, forgiving evil, it continues to thrive. Forgiveness is about making humans feel guilty for calling out a bad guy. It's time we stop forgiving evil. What do you think about that? I think it's a good point. I think we do. Um, we, we allow too much evil and interrupts and, and lies and all of this thing. We we allow it to continue and foster it. We we give our our leaders this kind of control and this kind of power and empowering ourselves to know that we can make that, that change ourselves and that change that has to come from within anyway so i totally agree we, have, we can't give them our energy can't keep electing them into these different offices that end up killing us we have to take some control of ourselves matter of fact i i truly believe our friendly galactic and positive galactic want to help us but they do want to help us to help ourselves they want to see us working toward the light and toward coming into the the beauty of what we can have and what we can experience, it. and we have that we have that within us. So they want to see us making the effort, and we all are doing that. Uh, example: you're 
that our, our shows and books, our, our movie, we're wanting to use. So we're trying to do everything to enlighten and awaken people up to the truth of what's going on. And I, I would like yeah, that's to awesome. comment. Uh, I believe that forgiveness is divine. We cannot harbor anger and animosity and ill feelings towards those that have hurt us because all of that comes back to us. Right. You, it's, it's merely a boomerang. Uh, what you put in terms of your emotions comes back, back to you. So yes, we've got to let it go. we got to forgive it. And forgiving it doesn't mean accepting it. It simply means that we are not going to take all that energy, although we understand to have decided to, because everything is a decision. Before we come into this particular existence, we decide Decide, are we going to be played the good guys or the bad guys? And, you know, yeah. it's all in the final analysis, just one big for which we have decided which side we'll take. We right. may take the next, the opposite side in, in the next incarnation. Right. So, therefore, it makes it, uh, I think, important to understand that this is all a big play and, and it's, it's just no good to, to us or for us to harbor. Uh, animosity, anger at, at those that have done us because we're, we're not elevating ourselves in the uh, directions we want. So i just like to add that to that last comment. Okay, well, I put up another one um, and you of course know what um, the, the Adreno stuff is. Yes. <laughs> I don't want yes. to say it. Um, I can understand why people would say no no forgiveness there um i can too I can involving children and some of the things that are done oh, I, definitely. I, I cannot forgive that i i can't yeah it's evil and um when they're talking about so it's mocking it's actually mocking god because those are his children that's true yeah and, we're with you there it's a horrific thing that is happening on this planet and it's it's, it's unfathomable what is happening to our just children, but uh, and we're excited because there are well, saving a child is a group that's going in to places like Colombia and other actually retrieving these children and bringing them out of this uh, sexual slavery. Right. There are some strides being, being made, but uh, yeah, it's, it's it's very tough. It's very very. And tough. we I read saving a child uh, dot com because. I, we saw on our way home from home. Oh, I have that in my description. You do? Good. Yes, I, I have. Yeah, I, yeah, I have an right. affiliate link it's, saving. Gail of Gaia right. said that saving a child that. We, we love it. And yeah. we yeah. Um, yeah. believe in it. And they need money. money so <laughs> we need the help to pay the influencers and they get people to come in to the program to go rescue them. The people on the front line—it's just—it's a beautiful program. It really is, and I'm ex excited to be a part of it. Well, the other thing that, I've, of course, had, mm -hmm. that I've had the opportunity to be introduced to, and um, is the um, the new tech with the super patch, which is the little video that I showed at the beginning here. Oh. Uh, that's okay. just one particular uh, tech because the uh, patch is medical grade and hypoallergenic and there's nothing on it. It's ingredient free. It's what's on it is a code that's uh, 3D printed on it. That's a neural code that um, affects your neural network. It, it helps to repair, you know, where, where the pathway got, got obstructed from all the poisons and all the crap that we're exposed to. I mean, right. it, it found that's happen. wonderful. So anyway, this, this helps to reestablish that. And then I have an, another product called More Mito, which actually is a new, they call it an XDS technology that is able to get mm -hmm. substances into your cells to help your mitochondria reestablish themselves and, and to make more. And we, that's our energy. That's where we get. Yes, energy. yes. So, that's important. That's wonderful. Yeah, so I, I feel very great. Place happy to to be able to promote those those two in particular those are both are two new technologies and the super patch is actually the biggest advancement in um health and wellness in over 50 years wow so and it's pretty cool 
and um, it's uh, the new techs are all, all kinds of things are oh, coming yeah. up um, right. that are going to help for healing. Six thousand patents. And right. We're I, I just will be glad when when um, um, preferably Trump is back in and is able to bring those technologies forward because we're not going to get them with the current administration. Exactly. Uh, <clears throat> The only thing we're getting is a lot of embarrassment. <laughs> right. That's about all. Indeed. We hear. Yes. <clears throat> well, we're coming up on uh, an hour and 15 minutes, and I think we'll do another show. We'll just set up another okay. one, if you don't mind, if you'd like to do yeah, that. Sure. And we'll, we'll get together ahead of time and make sure we got a clear picture and, a okay. cl and clear audio so everybody right. can hear you clearly. And because um, uh, this is important information, disclosure is part of disclosure, and you guys have had awesome uh, experiences. Let's see, somebody thank just you. said. Well, thank you, Gail, for having us. We enjoyed oh, you're it. very welcome. I, I'm more than happy to have you and have you again. So, um, somebody had, let's, let's address this last question here by Jay Thought. Or if it is a, I thought Dumbs and the rescues would would have been revealed and widely made that's um, not happening i think well, well in maybe some ways bit. it is a little yeah. bit yes i think it is we're seeing a different um uh, sewers uh smoke coming out of them and then we're hearing that's, that's them taking care of the reptilians or the, that's them removing something no about or they don't want us to know about it something occurred under washington dc itself whereby uh, entity, negative entities were under that, it's that place, and they were taken away in the middle of the night, and we don't see it and get to know about it. But some people have learned of these uh, these and these occurrences, and slowly I think all that is also coming out, but they have to give us a little at a time because it's so shocking and so horrific things that are going on on the ground that they can't just put on a I think they can't just do this. It's going to take time to learn these things. I think, and and right, they may right, right. also. Right. I think a lot of these uh, hidden uh, things that are going on that the public is not aware of is going to come out with the EBS emergency broadcast system. They're supposed to be yes, eight, yes. eight hours, twenty four hours a day of shows that are going to disclose all Everything. of these people that have been arrested, politicians, and so, and what the cabal has really been. Uh, to us uh, for all these years, decades. So I think, I think that's going to be included. Yes. I think we're aware of that once they do this PBS system mm -hmm. and everything's going to come out. So, and hopefully that's not too far off. Yes, yeah. as I said, 100%. You know, so shall I say, ladies, we're exactly awesome. Is well, and so thank you from the bottom thank of my you. heart for sharing the experience and knowledge. And so people, people are hungry for this kind of information. So I'm happy right. that you ladies aren't afraid to come out and tell what, tell your story. Um, it, it's important. And thank you for allowing. Yeah. Yes, oh, it's been a pleasure. And, I will definitely get back in touch with you. And also, are you looking for someone to do your movie script or do you already have that? Yes. Lined up or? yes. We're looking for financing and producing. Finance. Producer, yes. Producer okay. slash financier um, that resonates with this kind of information. Our story is, is um, we think it's um, we, it is we have awesome. uh, We have a lot to share. We have family members. We have. Uh, I got one of the people that I love in our story is uh, actually a person in real life is Earlene's husband's brother who was in the service and he was told uh, he saw training of, of extraterrestrials, ex, uh, what do you call the grays. He said, was told during this army training when he watched, when they all watched this, he could, not, he could never disclose this or tell anybody Everybody else they would kill him, quote, his ass. <laughs> I mean, he's just real wow. straightforward. He's wow. old school. He he just used words like that. But well, he had top security. He had top security because he worked on so was missiles were at that time. Right. right, and he never told us. He came over to visit his brother, early his husband Freddie, and he told us his story. And we were what? We were all, you know really all this. You saw these training films with with ETs and bodies in the in the in the coffins. 
I guess we were in coffins, and we were shocked. And he said, wow. and but he, he got wow. cool, goes out, not cool, but just himself, have a puff and come back in, thinks a little bit, come back in and tell more of the story. He's just so old school. He and he's so, less. that's what this character brings to the movie. And we love him. He's now, he just recently passed, but he gave us permission oh. to use his story oh. in the movie. <laughs> and we wrote him in the script. And we know he'll be watching from above. Right. We find him to hang on before, you know, until the movie's made so he, he can see. He couldn't make it. He, he passed he, from cancer. Yeah, he passed from cancer. But still hear his words. They, why he couldn't ever tell. Like, they kill my ass. He's just, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. naturally funny. And they he have killed have people's ass. ass. They say exactly. that one of the, that's one of the reasons they killed JFK and Marilyn Monroe, because they both said that they were going to disclose about ETs. So that's right. uh, in addition to the other things, it was it was an exactly ex- another layer well, of unacceptable by the cabal. Well, you know, every state. time we get taught to talk about our movie, um, they'll send us a negative dream, either myself or my sister. I got a scr- red, real red scratch I won't show here uh, days ago, and it's the reddest scratch I ever had. I know they took me to me. They're trying to tell me, don't move, don't, we don't want you to get this out. But we're determined to get the story out, this movie out. I, think, I don't think the Galactics asked us to You will be protected. Thank you, yes. And we believe we'll, we're going to be protected. But they and just come and they come every in. now and then. Yeah, they say. Especially yeah. when we're working on getting the script Trip moved level. level. We, we talk about they producers. They do that other people, too. Hmm? In fact, Tim had mentioned he wakes up and sometimes he has bruises on his body. Yeah. With yeah. No explanation. Right. There's other people that have, I've heard this from too. So this kind of thing actually does go on. Right. But people don't talk about it because people, you know, you tell the doctor, they're going to think you're crazy. Right. Um, they, they, they're very programmed anyway. But, but, right. Uh, well, we're yeah. just blessed to be able to talk. I have Erlene and then other people have friends or, or people they talk about it that she because I think we all need to share this and get it out there. If we comfortable doing so, we wouldn't like to do something we're not comfortable with. But if they think that's, our, we think this is our mission, right? It's so so our we, work. Don't, we don't have a exactly. question. Exactly. That's why I, I, like, I feel like I'm on a mission as well. Is my mission is to help people get their stuff out there. <laughs> Right. right. Oh, My black room you. is small, but they keep it that way. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, they do. I, I know do. that for a fact. I I had a YouTube channel. We had, uh, or I had ten thousand subscribers. They took the entire thing down. Oh, um, wow. didn't send me any copies of any of my videos or anything. They just boom the next day. You know, that's your third strike. You're done. Boom, gone. Oh. Channel. Oh, right. There's a lot of people that have been having a hard time, you know, finding me. I, and that's because YouTube censors. I don't like YouTube for that reason. They are the enemy when it comes to that because it is resulting in the death of many, many people as a result, because you know what we can't talk about. Right. But like you said, we're all protected. Protected. Yes. Yes. We are protected and people have to have, as they see other people step up, that gives other people courage to stand up. Yes. It's right. just like when you know when you're watching a standing ovation. It usually starts with one or two people, and then, then others follow. And then more, and then uh, right. then everybody's standing. Up. Right. So, anyway, thank you so much, ladies. This was beautiful. You're so um, welcome. And we will do it. Thank, again. thank you. And we'll get it. Uh, we'll get it really get it uh, set up. Get so our it's technology clear and everything. Okay. Thank- Sounds yeah, right. technology. Thank of course, you know, if if the um, big tech is wants to mess with us, sometimes there's not too we much you can do. Can do. Um, yeah, we can keep trying. But we'll see if we can figure it out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and if you'll send me a link or something, uh, if you can send us, sure we uh, have as our as it, whole channel edits too. Yeah, well, okay. Too. What I'll do is, um, as soon as it finishes processing, I'll mm-hmm. send you the Rumble link, the YouTube link, and the uh, Odyssey link. Thank you. I don't know about Odyssey. Unless you have one only. We have uh, Odyssey. YouTube. It, they don't censor either. So there's only two channels that I'm aware of that don't censor 
at least for the most part. Someone mm -hmm. told me that Rumble is starting to a little bit, but um, okay, we could probably put generally it, it doesn't censor, and Odyssey doesn't censor. And okay, Y S E E. But I will, um, I'll send you a okay. link so you'll you can go to it and Thank see it. You. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, ladies. That was a wonderful job, and keep doing what you're doing. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great rest of your day. Okay. a brand new day and we'll be making history are you with me won't you stay we have come so far this is who we are and like the rising sun we have just begun to play our part this is the time we form the chorus lift your voice for those before us we can rely on one another feel the pride let's show our colors we are heroes and dreamers we are restless believers stronger than ever never say never Your voice for those before us We can rely on one